Hello, ALC. It's Pastor Trey. I'm very thankful to have the opportunity to just be with you guys tonight. I believe that God's going to do some incredible things in this year's fast, and I believe that there's going to be some power that takes place in your spiritual journey as we fast together, and I'm just super excited to be a part of that with you. And as the new year begins, it is a common part of our culture to set goals at the beginning of the year. It's a, it's a very common thing as we start to write down ideas, write down things that we want to achieve, write down things that we want to accomplish. And we just have this mindset of we want to achieve something new in the new year. And maybe that's like buying a new house or paying off debt, going to college, completing college. You know, there's just so many different things that you can do just to allow yourself to set these goals and get excited about. But in the new year, it's a very common thing. And however, there are also times where we are absolutely just clueless on what our next year is going to look like, right? We're we're just we have no idea what's going to happen. We're just trying to make it by. Maybe we even set goals that was back in 2023 that we have yet to achieve. And so we're like, how am I going to set goals for 2024 if I haven't even achieved what I was trying to achieve back in the last year? But here's the good news: regardless if you are casting vision for this upcoming year or you are still trying to complete the task of the year prior today today right now we can move forward with the spirit of understanding and so tonight we're going to be talking about the spirit of understanding and how can the holy spirit help you grow in your devotional life this year and we're going to dive into the scripture of isaiah chapter 11 verse 2 and it says this and the spirit of the lord will rest on him the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord. The spirit of understanding is something that can bring in a clarity, a fresh perspective, a newness to things that haven't made sense before, but just a brand new clarity that helps you make decisions on a more, more smooth pace, on an easier way. But just like how we have to be a student to learn, we also have to be a student to help understand. I'm gonna say that again because that, that is some good stuff. Just like how we have to be a student to learn, we have to be a student to understand. And this is why it is so important to grow in our devotional lives in 2024. And by dedicating time every day and being in the Word of God, this will be our greatest source on how we start to understand things better. If you need to figure out a way that involves a financial situation, go to the Word of God as your source of understanding. If you need help figuring out a family matter at home, go to the Word of God for your source of understanding. And if you need help making a life-altering decision, go to the Word of God to be your source of understanding. There is so many things that we have to do and make decisions on. Go to the Word of God to be your source of understanding. And imagine the impact there can be if our world no longer went to our emotions to provide an understanding, but we went to God to be the source of our understanding. I understand that this can be hard to do, but if you allow the Spirit of God to guide you, if you allow Him to be there with you, to go through the process of growing this year with you, then I can guarantee you that you will gain and not just wisdom but also in your relationship of understanding of who Jesus really is and which will immediately and directly impact your everyday life he will be with you every day the things that you read the things that you digest are with you every day of your life so that is why it is so important when you are trying to understand a situation you got to go to the true and pure source of understanding and that is in scripture that's in the word of god and so to close out tonight let's just allow ourselves to be positioned in a manner of accepting a challenge accepting a challenge that you are going to dive in you're going to go deep you're going to read the word and you're going to connect to god in a way he has given you a manual of life 
right in front of you. That is called the Bible. Get one, be there, have one, dive into one. And I'm going to tell you when you do that, you're not, you're not going to just grow in wisdom. You're not going to just grow in strength, but you're going to grow in understanding of who you are in Christ. So this year, I encourage you to grab a devotional, read the word, and allow the principles of Christ to be the pathway that leads you on your journey this year in 2024.